All right, Vanjie, it is time to play a little game. Are you ready for that? What game are we playing? I like We've that. created a very special game Ooh. to try to find out what you would have done in certain situations oh, on shit. season 10. Let's it's do it. A little game called WWVD. What would Vanjie do? Or WWE Worldwide Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that could be very possibly something that might have happened. Ooh. You'll have to tell us. Yes, let's. All right, so we have a screenshot from an episode that you weren't in, and you're going to tell us what you would have done in that situation or what you thought about the situation. Okay. All right, let's take a look. WWVD. Ah! Oh. What would have Vanjie done when I... Miss Alyssa showed up? Bitch, I would have been excited, and I would have said, oh, we're doing choreography. So that's good, because I'm a dancer. That's how I started dan or, you know, doing the drag was backup dancing. So I would have been like, what we gonna, what we about to do? Teach me the choreography. Let me be in the, in the center. What, have you been tongue popping a lot? Oh, bitch, I would have done whatever she wanted me can to do. Can you do a good tongue pop? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, Very crisp. Right. We're not Puerto Rican. Very crisp. We come out the womb tongue popping. We come out the womb with DUIs and everything. <laughs> WWV. WWVD. This was the feather runway. What oh, was your feather look that you I had, had prepared? All, mm -hmm, I had an all black coat. It was kind of similar to Eureka's, uh -huh. but um, it was all black, big. I looked like Malefolent. Oh yeah. Malefolent, <laughs> and I had um a sheer body black cat suit with Ooh. little appliques. A cucumons, hiding uh -huh. the titties and the thoto. <laughs> I don't thigh high boots. Oh, I look sick. Oh, damn. Now you know one thing for sure. I came with looks. Yes, you did. I didn't come with 99 cent skills, but I can't wait to look. <laughs> your, okay, let's not get it. Your mother would not have let you oh, come. Oh, my mama packed my race. shit ready to go and my um, tuna sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would Vanji do? In the snatch game. I was going to do Linda Blair, the uh -huh. asterisk. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Linda Blair as uh -huh. the Asteris. <laughs> but I was going to be dressed up as Linda, because, you know, you're not allowed to do copyrighted bitches. Right. But I would have did something sneaky. I would have been dressed up as Linda. Uh-huh. Not Evangelista, but right. Linda, um, Linda, the actress. Linda Blair in yeah. the character, and right. And I would have started getting possessed during the thing. Now, can you give me a little taste of how that would have gone? It would have sucked cocks in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Girl, I would have been getting RuPaul together, and you know, you just gotta gag them. Uh, yes, you do. That's what I would have been gagging the kids. You gotta make RuPaul laugh, and it seems like you would have been great at that. I would have been throwing up and acting a fool, probably <laughs> get escorted off this premises. <laughs> now, I uh, also heard that you also were possibly gonna do Latoya Jackson. I was gonna do Latoya Jackson. Don't ask me to do Latoya, because that was a backup of a backup of a backup of a backup. I was gonna do Latoya and, you know, glue my nose. <sighs> And do, I was gonna do Latoya and Kiki and act drunk. Oh, okay. Like with a little champagne. With a soft voice. And you know, cause La Latoya been on the show like forty-five times. Yes. I don't know if she the. She, uh, I don't know if she the easiest guest to get and hold of or what's the tea. <laughs> but Latoya been on the show like four or five times. Uh, yeah, she's RuPaul's favorite, I think. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, what would Vanjie do? In the mermaid challenge. Oh, the mermaid. My mermaid was sick, then I still got it. I might wear it, Um, I don't know, on Halloween. <laughs> I had this, uh, of course, Alexis, you know, she be, y'all seen when she made a carousel for a pageant? Yeah. So she could make some shit. I had the sick the mermaid with a uh, fierce bodysuit underneath that was nude, and I had like gold, real seashells. And she said, so she show by the seashore. Uh -huh. I had this sick and blue ponytail, Alexis Mateo style. Yeah. And I was, bit, I was gonna look sick. And it tells you, like, it told us to um, be ready to lip sync. And I would have pulled the little skirt down, and Ooh. I, I would have not ripped it off, you know, like my sister um, Monique Hart. Uh -huh. I had a full body, you know, swimsuit and everything ready to go to twirl for the kids. And right. Ray Jepsen. Yeah. I would have loved that. I need to stop posting this shit. I just, you know, I'd be. Yeah, we want to see the lookbook ah, of all the looks that could have been, but you've been a little I'm busy. Hey, they're going to keep me. They want to see the looks. If you want to see me, keep me. If you didn't keep me, I ain't going to see shit. <laughs> all right, what would Banji do? And the evil twin challenge. Right. Um, Who shit. is your inner saboteur? <sighs> I mean, I, hmm. I don't know. I would have probably did something, maybe um, a 99 cent version of, well, now I would do a 99 cent version of myself. Oh, right. And then somebody, you know, I'm going to put together that's not 99 cent. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, that would have to be in the future. I don't know. Some, my inner saboteur, some, mm, you know, you're about to dig deep. Ooh, I would have to think hard on that one. Right. Is there, what is the opposite? Vanjie herself seems very outgoing and 
probably fun and loud and is the inner saboteur version uh depressed i probably would have painted myself gray mm -hmm. like a black and white sad story oh, yeah just looking like a bitch don't got no kind of feelings <laughs> you know that's probably what i'm okay so you're, you're gonna help me out with that one so thank you sure see. sounds good because from the looks of it i probably would have been on the bottom on that one. oh no i don't know what the fuck i was going with it <laughs> what would Benji do in the finale. Ciao. Now, this is an iconic shot. <laughs> because I know you were looking at the, the difficult butterfly affair. butterfly affair. Yeah. What was going through your mind when during saw, that? My sister Asia, first I was sad, because I wanted her to, you know, to compete. Yeah. And the butterflies wasn't going. And then, you know, of course, me being a Mariah Carey fan, I automatically thought of Mariah Carey. Yep. And I started feeling my emotions, like Mariah would say. <laughs> and then I started thinking of, anytime you need a friend, I will be here. <laughs> so, with that being said, um, I just felt bad. And I was like, that just sucks. And then I started, like, I was like, I wonder how they, like, do they find that? Like, I'm assuming that they prepare for the lip sync costume and stuff wise before they even know the song because yeah. her outfit wasn't really like she couldn't really dance in it yeah and i almost feel like i'm almost sure um asia has done that song like for pageants or something uh -huh. i don't know don't quote me on it i have to get with my sister and find out you know we both busy gals right but i just felt bad i wanted her to you know it did, I, to see that happen to her i wanted her to have a fair shot and yeah. I feel like she didn't get to because was the butterflies rough. were not working in her favor. So. I know, those cold butterflies. Yeah, but she, she ended up still stealing the show because they ended up talking about her. <laughs> and we all, me and my sister, we on that one. They, we didn't work in our favor, but they still talking. So good job, Asia. <laughs> I love right. you, sis. Well, now we know what Vanjie would have done because that has been What Would Vanjie Do? <laughs> she did good. Yes, bitch, a lot of bullshit. <laughs> now, everybody, it's time for us just to quickly remind you that this is a dangerous time we're living in. The president of the United States is a traitorous Russian spy. He is ripping apart Fuck all em. of our institutions. He is ripping apart our country. He is not giving any respect to the LGBTQIAA+. He mm. is polluting the environment, and the only way we can get this motherfucker out of office is if we activate and vote. Right, Vanjie? Yes, that is true. We can't be sitting around letting these no. rich old white people do what's best for them and not for us. Hell no, and I should have got an invite to go do Walk Backwards and you know, I want... At the White House. Oh, yeah! Exactly. Fuck him. He ain't yeah. shit. He ain't never gonna be shit. He never was shit. You ain't that cute. Your hair uneven. You remember that meme? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I've been waiting for you at the door. Uh, Bitch. Exactly. So make sure you're voting in all the local and national elections, especially come November, girl. So we're going to evict his ass. Yes. Get that Ex motherfucker out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Vanjie. Yeah, got me turning up. Fuck him. <laughs> That's right. All right, now it's time to take a little trip back in the time machine and find out how you became Miss Vanjie. <laughs> this is some sick shit. Yeah. So, um, uh, now, where were you born, Miss Vanjie? I was born in Puerto Rico. Oh, Ponce so you Ponce. were originally Puerto born in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how long did you live there as a kid? Um, probably I was there till like I was two years old. Then my mom moved from Puerto Rico. She packed all our shit, threw us, you know, the babies and all. Yeah. Went to New York. Then from New York, she took us down to Florida following my grandma. And then we, you know, from Florida, we stayed there. How many people in your in your immediate family? Me, my two brothers. I'm the middle child. I'm the Kim Kardashian of the family. Okay. You know, I got a Chloe and we got a uh 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 Courtney. Okay. And um <laughs> we don't got the other ones. And then um my aunt. And my grandma. All right, that's Small, pretty nice. Tight. Latinas, yeah. Uh huh. And so, what was what were you like as a kid? A fool. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Like I swear to you, people be right. That's why they, my friends don't even treat me no different. They're like, bitch. <laughs> the voice, everything has been the same. Right. It's a mess. I always been crazy. Now, when did you uh, when did you come out? <sighs> I never came out. Just the right. problem. My mom pulled my ass out. She said, "Listen." I know you're at the age where you start looking at things. Uh huh. Okay? Be careful. We had, you know, you had a, you know, one of your cousins from Puerto Rico, he was a hairstylist. And that was her way of telling me, 
He was kind of Tinkerbell style. Right. Fairy, pixie fairy. Yeah. So I said, okay, what? And then I was real annoyed at that time. I was like, yeah, okay. I don't, what are you talking about? It was like awkward for me. And she's like, you know, just be safe, be smart. I know you go out to the, the and you know, she knew I was going out to like Paul Southern Night. Oh, right. I know you go going to Parliament House and all this stuff. Be careful. I see your Facebook. Right. I'm like, stop my, mind your business. I'm blocking you. So it was very nice. She was forcing me out. Right. So she was like, I know. My and mom's so. Like, you... Yeah. And mom loved it. She's like, I didn't get no girls, I got you. Right. And That's pretty like, good. Yeah, so it was good, yeah. That's good. Me and my mom are like this. We best friends. Yeah. Your original drag name was going to be Vanessa Banji Mateo? Well, no, actually, originally, I just wanted um, one name, and I wanted oh. to be called Banji. Okay. That was it. Yeah. Alexis is like, but if you do pageants or you never know what you want to do, uh -huh. you should just maybe use it as your middle name. How about Vanessa from The Little Mermaid uh -huh. when she turns, because I used to wear dark hair only all the time. And I was like, okay, I like that. And that was my favorite Disney movie. So I took Vanessa. And Banji came about because Alexis couldn't fucking pronounce it. <laughs> right. Y'all know Alexis got that damn accent. It'd be like, oh, <laughs> Banji, Banji. So it came Banji. And I said, I like that. The VV, Mateos, because, you know, my mama. And then, right. That's kind of, it just stuck. And I think I, in the beginning, I was going through names, and then it kind of just happened like over a week, and I was like, I'm just keeping it like this. Right. Now, how did you first meet uh, Vanessa? I mean, uh, Alexis. Alexis. Yeah, I met Alexis. Well, so she was looking for backup dancers, and then the, um, I was part of a dance team. The choreographer, well, one of the boys, he was kind of one of the leaders of the of the group. He um, reached out to her and was like, oh, we danced, da 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 So we started dancing for her backup dancing as boys and things. And then, um, ever since then, she used us for, like, a bunch of pageants. We danced for, like, um, Coco. We've worked with Alyssa before, you know, before I knew. Well, they were on the show, but you know what I'm saying? It wasn't right. like I didn't do drag. You weren't thinking about it in right. that way. I, you that were point, just getting yeah. bucked behind yeah, the scenes. and I just wanted to be a cute little boy that was twirling. Then, one day we were, after rehearsals, there was a talent show, and she was like, bitch, they're giving out $500. Nobody entered. Do it. Just do it for fun. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it. Then the other boy was like, I'll do it. If I do it, you do it. Uh -huh. He did Beyonce Frickham dress, and I did Nicki Minaj Anaconda. Uh -huh. And bitch, as soon as the light hit me, it was like, I just wanted to keep doing it. It and was I, over. Yeah, I got the money, and I said, oh, bitch, I live for this. And then uh -huh. I just kept doing drag after that. And was that at my favorite gay resort, the Flamingo Resort? How did Saint you know? Y'all <laughs> <laughs> do your research. Oh, hell no. Y'all know, what else y'all know? Because if y'all got my warrants and shit, I'm going to be gay. <laughs> we, have the we have the footage from the leather bar yeah. and the Flamingo, and here it is. Oh, that way, I didn't go like that, because that was the far out, and peace kind of far for me. But yeah, it was at the Flamingo. So you got that one taste of the spotlight, and you I got you, bit by the bug, you like Alexis knew. says. Yep, and I, after that, I didn't want to get out of drag. And so you did a little bit, you dabbled in pageants, mm -hmm. but you didn't feel like pageants were really for you. Yeah, because the only category I really like, I like doing gown. I, well, I like the categories, but anything that had to do with speaking and being proper. Uh -huh. And then even after you win a pageant, it becomes like a job because you have to rain and go, hi, everybody, reach out. Oh, do you want to enter? Fuck all that shit. I don't want to do that shit. I just uh -huh. want to perform. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted the money. So that I like doing the aspects. I love competing. But raining, and that's like a job. No, I don't got no time for no nine to five. Uh -huh. Fuck that shit. <laughs> right, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> now, what was the early advice or help that Alexis gave you in terms of figuring out who Alex Vanessa Vanji Mateo was going to be? Alexis is one of the drag moms that you, bitch, she give you the training, she put, you know, she give you the nipple for a week and after that you um, on Gerber Baby and then you eating regular food. Right. She don't got time <laughs> to be crawling. You don't, you get up and you run. So Alexis was like, bitch, I'm going to show you a few times. You're going to do your own makeup. I don't got time. She did me on my makeup like once. Wow. After that, but I worked at Max, so I kind of knew a thing about makeup. She yeah. said, you know how to do makeup. Do it yourself. She showed me how to pad like one time. She said, that's it, bitch. I ain't showing you no more. Get, go to the book and do your thing. Then um, she showed me a few times how to sew, how, you know, the proper ways of going about things. But she let me kind of do my own thing, and she... She kind of was like... I could t Like, I was learning quick. And, bitch, I was obsessed at the time, so I was like on YouTube. Pads. Right. Hair. <laughs> makeup. I was on YouTube 24-7 looking up everything. So she was like, this bitch... You know, she didn't really worry about me. Now, my, a couple of my other sisters, they're a little slow. <laughs> I was joking, though, but, you know, like, they need more re 180. I was good. Right. Yeah, yeah. You were a, a true modern queen. Bitch, I Your was Your other mother was YouTube. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what is next? You have the world at your feet. What is your plan? Well, you know, I'm open. I want to do everything. I want to kind of do some music, but I want to go more of a serious route and not do, like, the comedic kind of 
you know how the music always is about drag race. Or, right. It's like, I want to do something more serious with it. I kind of want to do something like Beyonce with her little documentary and she released videos and shit overnight. Oh, I want to yeah. gag everybody. Just you want to do everything. a visual album? Yeah, a visual album. I'm more of a visual bitch. I, who knows? You know, bitch, put me on something. I don't care. Give a bitch an opportunity. The moment you do, it's a done deal. <laughs> you know, maybe I go on Living Hip Hop. Who knows? Yes, that yeah, would be incredible. that shit. You can't stop Banji, Can't honey. stop, won't stop. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Yes, and honey, you have turned it so fierce that you have snatched the trophy on it! Yeah! 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 the trophies up in here! Oh! Oh! And Miss Vanjie, you've also won yourself a lap dance! Oh. Take us out with a black lady Thank you, baby. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Hey, it's Benji, you're the queen. Hey, All right, now Miss Benji is not going anywhere, sweetie. She's going to play Look at Her. So you're going to want to tune in for that. Thank you, Lady Red. Thank you, Adam. And of course, thank you to Miss. Bam! Yeah.